Hey everybody, Curtis Tangersley here with my partner in crime, Matt Schmall, also known by some in this area as Ducky. Together we have a company called Just Add Paint. Um, we are in South Central Pennsylvania in a town called Mechanicsburg. Uh, we have been at it for about 15 years and these days roughly 50% of our business is coming from kitchen cabinet refinishing. Yeah, so when APC Magazine contacted us to do a, a pro cabinet feature, uh, we were stoked and uh, humbled and we hope that uh, some of this information will help you in your refinishing. Uh, today basically we're going to talk about water-based coatings and the effect temperature and humidity have on them. Yeah, these products are extremely temperamental. It does not say that on the label before you find out in a hurry when you're in here trying to spray these like you would a standard house paint. They are definitely not the same um, and they are affected by just about anything and everything that you can do in your environment. Yeah, we've had issues between contamination, uh, adhesion issues, uh, surface tension, and the dreaded uh, micro bubbles. Yes, we had, we had reached our wits end with the micro bubbles uh, to the point that we ended up making an emergency phone a friend phone call to our uh, DC Clark, who was our Malaysia rep out mm -hmm. of the Clark Deco shop in Pittsburgh. Um, he told us we needed to get back to basics. Um, of course, we had a thermometer in the shop but he said you really need to monitor your humidity as well. Yeah, and this temperature humidity gauge uh, from Amazon, which is about $12, does that, just that, it does the job. Yeah, keeping, keeping it simple with this thing, again, $12 purchase, uh, we immediately recognized in our case, uh, as I mentioned, we have a shop in the northeastern part of the country. So what we discovered is when we have our heat system cranked, which of course we need to to stay functional over the winter in Pennsylvania, um, we found that that actually knocked our humidity level down below 20%, which is off the charts low. Yeah, it's not great, and it uh, really affects your finish, uh, which also made us decide to purchase a in-house humidifier. Yeah, this is basically a whole house humidifier. It, I believe, is rated to work for 2,000 to 2,500 square feet. Uh, we just picked it up at our local Home Depot for Lowe's for about $125. Um, it's kind of overkill for our shop because we only have 600 square feet that we're working with here, but that's actually been a great thing just because we don't spend a lot of time sitting around waiting for the, for the humidity to get up to par. Yeah, but basically, you know, check your temperature and your humidity when you're using water-based coatings. It's, uh, it's very important, as temperamental as they are. Uh, this will really help you with the success of your finish. Yes, and in our case, we eliminated about 90% of our problem just by monitoring, monitoring the, the humidity and making sure we're up above 50 on this thing. Um, our ideal spot, we have found at least in our area, and this is probably not a one size fits all, but for us, we like to be between 60 and 70% humidity with a te air temperature of around 70 degrees. Yep, that seems to work great for us. Uh, hopefully this uh, will help you, some of this information will help you in your cabinet refinishing and uh, we appreciate again APC for contacting us and uh, happy painting from Just Add Paint. Thanks guys. Thanks.